Hello, and my name is Matt Meister, as you all know, and um, I know I said I should wait until I have her attack band, but why not now? I'm using her a lot more than I have been. And yeah, as you probably guess, this video is about Aaron Rod, my girl. I mean, my 180 year old woman. So, she's a member of uh, Heroes of Time faction, Medical Realm faction, and uh, Lancaster Reincarnation Tensei faction. Um. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Um, so I talked about her classes, now I'm just going to talk about her class, soldiers, what I think is her best equipment, and her 3C. So, for her classes. I haven't prepared this, I just thought, hey, let's do it now. So, you get her as a High Lord, and um, there she gets Armor Pierce. Um... Physical damage attacks a single enemy dealing 1.5 damage after battle decreases enemy defense by 30% last two turns. Um, yeah, if you have Vargas, you know what this does. Then you have um, just going to do Lancer first and then Holy. You have Warrior, which gives hedge money. Passive um, when entering combat, dispels one enemy buff, decreases enemy defense by 20% last one turn. And she gets access to Elite Lancers and Amazons. Then we have Lance Maiden, which gives her total destruction. It's an AoE. Attacks all enemies in 3 straight lines, dealing 0.35 AoE damage and afflicts displacement effects, pushes targets back 2 blocks. And um, the range is 2 blocks, so... Um, yeah, it's line AoE. Uh, three wide, two long. I'm sorry, I had to pause my um, my recording because my brother was talking to me and he said I was talking too loud, so I just went to another room. So total destruction and um, the passive adversity. When HP is below 70%, attack and defense increase by 10%. And um, I don't carry this, but it's this is a good um, passive. She also gets access to Vanguard Lancers and Amazon Champions. And I, um, as you can see, I have the Amazon Champion Shin, skin. Shin, my, wow. So, um, she also gets Storm Lancey, and that's when you actually get her, and this is the first skill she has. Physical damage attacks um, all enemies in one straight line, dealing 0.25 AoE damage. When attacking, teleports to the few further point in skills costing radius. So, um, you have five blocks ahead of you, and there are two enemies at the back. So if you do this, you go at the furthest point, but if there's an enemy on that, then you stand before the enemy. Which is... I, I use it, but it's not the best skill setup for her. Um... Oh! Wait, did I talk about... No, I think I didn't. I forgot I need to speak about her holy. So her first holy is Silver Awakener and she gets passive fair fight and that's actually when you have more than 90% HP and your defense is higher than the enemy you can attack first. And that's this is like um, Ashram's talent when he has more attack than the other than his enemy. She gets um monks and paladins from this class and within the class i don't have and i need for her attack bond so you need this for her defense bond and this for her attack bond and she gets anglia hammer um i consider this to be her best no second best skill um after a uh, after her 3c deals 0.35 aoe damage to all enemies within two blocks and reduce the damage they deal by 20% last two turns and this wow <laughs> this is awesome this is an awesome skill so um the range is herself and the span is two blocks 
So it's just a self AOE with the two blocks like Listel's uh, Blood Dance. And then Judgment. Attacks a single enemy deal 1.2 damage before entering battle. Defense and M magic defense of this unit increases by 30% last two turns. I don't use this and I don't think anybody does. So she gets exorcists and heavy cavalry from this. Then um, for her training ground soldiers, she gets heaven centurions and zealots. And I think Templar Knights, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Templar Knights are also from Training Ground. Then for her equipment, I'm just going to take the... Yeah, <sighs> damn it. My SR gear. I have um, her best armor. Well, not her best, but I consider it to be her best. I'm waiting for her. Just need to level it up. So, um, the best Aryan rat in my server, um, which is it, Ancient Ruin, has um, Scarlet Reaper, and that is actually her best, I consider this to be her best weapon, um, Carbon Fiber Armor, and that's, I have that waiting for her. Um, then you also have Carbon Fiber Helm, I um, just need an extra copy of that. And Overlord's Batch, and yeah, if you have Lanius, you know, Overlord's Batch is hard to get. And so this is her, um, her equipment, and I use the Enchant Magic on her for the more AoE damage, but you, want, you would want to run Clock or Breeze. Breeze for the um, more mobility, and Clock just to do the, those AoEs over and over again. But I forgot to talk about her talent, Steel Maiden. When unit HP is higher than 70% damage taken, decreased by 8%. After taking damage or at the end of the turn, if in a danger zone, gain following effect. Attack increased by 3%, damage increased by 3%, damage taken reduced by 3% and mobility increased by 1. Can be stacked up to 3 times. After taking action, if this unit's HP is below 55% it can take one additional action, one cooldown trigger. This act again effect has a 3 round cooldown. Man that was hard to see in one breath. <laughs> so what it does when you stand in the um, in the enemy range you get extra attack and you get extra movement. And for her awakening, damn it I I really need this from the shop tomorrow because then I can use her unlocking. So you get Grand Cross and um, deals 0.44 AoE damage to all enemies within three blocks and dispels three buffs. After battle, grants the physical barrier effect. First time you take physical da physical damage, damage taken is reduced by 90%. This effect can only be obtained once every two turns, and that is amazing. And you also gain magic barrier the first time you take magic damage um, first time take magic damage taken is reduced by 90% this effect can only be obtained every three turns last three turns and um, yeah when she has her 3c she's a pain to kill that's why I actually want it and now for her clip and this is so hot I mean, wow, I really respect that she's from, yeah, I really respect them to put her in the crossover, um, because I just expected one friend of Reen or just Altina, but no, they included her too, and that's, yeah, that's what makes this game good, the crossovers. We have Overlord coming up, and I'm not sure, but I think I will save, because I, I really want Eins and he's free, and... Um, you get you also get Sheltier, Bloodfallen, and Albedo. And Albedo is a PvP meta tank. As you can see, I have them all. I was pretty lucky. I got Reen on the last day, I remember that. I got Aaron Rod on the first day, Altina, yeah, a week after, and Reen on the last day of the banner.
but yeah, with um, Shelter Your Blood Fallen is my uh, waifu. I <laughs> I'm going to summon on that banner just to get her, and if I get Albedo, that's a win-win. And now I will let you look at her bonds. So, um, for the first bond, you just need to um, yeah, you just need to make her intimacy level five. Then you have I don't know what it was again. But this one you need um, her class upgrades. And it's still maiden. I just really need it. But she is a beast even without it. And um, her gates of fates were her gates of fate were easy. If you want, um, I can do it in um, a video, a separate video. But that's your choice. If you want it, I can do it. Yeah, sure I can. But yeah, this will be it for this video. If you liked it, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Uh, make sure to subscribe and yeah, hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any further content. As always, take care. Goodbye.